first alert, Chief Meteorologist. You're, you're kind of like surprised about San Francisco. Oh, aren't you? Well, no? I, I know how much it costs to live there, so I'm thinking it's probably cost <laughs> a lot to take someone on a date. So yeah, right. from that point, I'm thinking it can't be. The odds are very good. Right. But what do I know? I'm single. <laughs> oh, oh that's that? well, we have the best food places here. Wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't that be great to take people out to? I don't, I don't know. What do I know? All right. Take a look. Carlos, you're our best example, I guess, of this one. You're number 21 here, apparently. Okay. Strat Stratcam Live. Got a lot of cloud cover in the picture just for the evening hours. Make for a nice sunset. But the first alert that we're giving you is about wind making a comeback. That's the alerts we always give you. Something's making a big comeback and clouds will as well. Uh, windy, yeah, we'll probably start ramping it up later on Wednesday and then we'll really start to kick it in Thursday. And we talk 40 mile an hour winds. We're talking right there to advisory level winds. So we're giving the first alert on that. These could be more serious than the nuisance winds you'll get the day before. Might linger through early Friday before it's all said and done. Doesn't look like it'll encroach the weekend. But speaking of weekends and speaking of uh, big days, look at this, 10 days away? That seemed hard to believe. It would believe it. True. It's so true. Everything's creeping up us. Before long, we'll have party hats on talking about New Year's Eve, right? So your 13 first alert satellite picture shows some of that cloud cover. That's just taking its time to get out. Took its time yesterday, that was for sure. And what's pushing that cloud cover in? System to the north. Coldest air stays out of the works. There's San Francisco. We're the number one dating spot right there. Competing with Los Angeles. I wonder where Los Angeles fit on that one, too. I always hear from friends, you can't date there either. Uh, got 70s coming up. So once that system plunges down to the south, it will cool things down a little bit, but not dramatically. It's going to be cloud cover and uh, certainly a chance for the stronger wind that's going to be more dramatic than anything else. So for tomorrow, enjoy those 70s. I don't see big changes in the wind for tomorrow either. I think things are holding on pretty well, upper 60s to middle 70s in general. And then I see those 60s coming in uh, a little stronger, maybe for the weekend, as maybe it's Friday as well, as that cooler system drags some more cloud cover. And anytime you get all that cloud cover, it's really hard to heat up the lower layers. But uh, we'll keep those middle 70s, at least through Thursday, so the wind starts to really crank up later Wednesday into Thursday with a bigger wind. And that's when we start to see that added cloud cover that sticks around for Friday. And then for the end of the weekend, early next week, we're back into the 70s again. And in general, overnight lows stay on the cool side, but not too chilly until we get until maybe Friday night, Saturday morning. That's when we'll start to see more 40s than anything else. All right, back to you, Carla.